Um, <laughs> I use technology all the time, every day, all day. You know, again, we use technology probably 24-7. Every day, every minute of every day. Um, I'm pretty much addicted to a computer, so it's not good. I probably should seek help. And, you know, I, it transcends my job, you know, it's my, my personal life, my family life, you know, I think everything. You know, I'm on the computer probably a good 18 hours a day. You know, just use Reddit in moderation. It's, you know, technology is amazing. I have carpal tunnel. Probably 12 hours a day. Is that bad? Do you think? No, it's totally good. My eyes suck. But you know, I love it. It's cool. I don't have any, no complaints. But what's interesting is we've had a couple power outages down in the short north where a fire truck runs into a, a power line and so power goes down and we have no internet connectivity. And it, you would think it was the apocalypse end of the world, like our studio shuts down, nobody knows what to do. And in my business partner's mind, in my mind, I would think we can gather all of our designers, sit at a table with pen and paper, and still have an ideation session or talk about big ideas. But we're so reliant, I think, on even gathering our big ideas from the web that when you take that away from everybody, it, it shuts down. I thought I heard somebody. Right. So, uh, so this is Coexist. Being at a micro agency and we're just under 13 people that we get to pick who we want to work with. So this is the back studio. Uh, we've got Andy, Ben, Eric, Bill, and Brad. Uh, on the left are the designers and uh, on the right are the developers. So we get to pick who we staff our studio with. So we need to make sure that all the designers back here, they're, they're just fun people. They enjoy life. They enjoy design, um, they play well with others. Look how busy he is. <laughs> He's watching The Office. <laughs> it's research, right? You know, I, I definitely love coming into work and, and this is a, a great environment. It's kind of our server room, kind of entertainment room, good nice couch, TV on the wall, uh, Xbox 360, yeah. MacBook. Uh, our server and boring nerd equipment back there. Um, but I still, ultimately, what what kind of gets me out of bed in the morning is the work. Uh, this is our front meeting table. Uh, we've got some kind of some comps for some websites up. This is usually where we have our meetings and where we go over our reviews and creative reviews and, and edits to things. Creating all day, you know, designing, drawing, um, just sitting and constantly thinking of something new and fresh, um, just being a creative individual 24-7, so. And it's small, it's, uh, it's, it's condensed. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's, it's fun to see the designer's eyes light up whenever they finally see the thing they've been working on for three months come to life. A nice kind of music system set up, higher flag, just crap all over the walls. Um, Uh, a lot of it's kind of, you know, in the line of fire. Um, a lot of people here have come from other agencies, and so at those agencies, um, you've been forced to find quick solutions, and most of the time the quick solution is a technology solution. You know, I'm always striving for this balance where it's like technology and work, and then, you know, kind of getting outdoors. And... Uh, I've got a nice view of the uh, high street here, short north. So it's nice. It's actually really nice now because the leaves are starting to come out. It also has a mass media effect where you can, you can do a painting and it's so hard to get it out to the world but if you do a drawing or a website or you know an interactive piece it can anyone in the world can see it when you put it on the internet so. um, surprisingly just by practice I went to school to learn it but they didn't teach me enough so you just you, you practice things and you learn like and uh, I just remember like oh my gosh this internet is crazy and so I just you know uh, got into it and, and kind of taught myself like self-taught uh, artist on, on the computer doing 
doing all that, like didn't take any classes and just kind of learned it and then it's um, knowing what your problems are and, and going out on the web and finding kind of a, a third party software application that solves all those problems for you and automates it and keeps it online for you to access later. So I think as long as you know and can define the problems you have, you can go find it online and find someone that's had that problem before and fixed it. I know if you did a circle around our studio right now, um, there's probably one of 10 or 13 people that's looking at an FAQ section on a website trying to find someone that's had their problem before and what they've done to fix it. Well, when I was an undergrad, there were very few sort of digitally centered classes. Um, and so I kind of had to go out and learn that stuff on my own. And so a lot of it was just fooling around on the internet, finding tutorials, you know, talking to people online, um, talking to people in the field. And then here, you know, I probably learned uh, a ton of stuff just working here and just figuring it out on my own. When you get to pick your ideal client and you get to pick the ideal people you work with in the studio, I don't get much better than that. You let us know girls. We have some, we had an intern. Hi, she didn't make Sorry about the sprinkles. Yeah, I just want to say that donuts and sprinkles are offensive. It's like a rainbow of hate. So, that's your progress, but whatever. How often do you use technology? Um, never. Actually, I actually have an app on Abascus. Abascus? <laughs> Abacus? <laughs> Abacus. Abacus. Yeah, I, uh, I knocked cuneiform out of stone tap. No. Is that it? Yeah, you're done. Woo! Yeah, I think it's pretty good.